Welcome to Dating in the Modern Age, a new series starring Alex Stewart and Nikki Nunez. In this new dating show, these single best friends virtually interview potential suitors for each other for a chance at a one-on-one date. This week, it's Alex's turn. I'm Alex. I'm 35. I live in Chicago. I am a project manager, influencer, and podcaster. (laughs) I would say like I date on and off like I have my whole life. Got out of a serious relationship about a year and a half ago and just looking for, you know, the pandemic kind of put a little pin in that, but trying to find someone that I can share my life with. How did you come up with your podcast, Swipe Fat? I think that Nikki and I saw a gap in in the world, really, where no one was talking about what it was like to be a plus size woman and be dating. Cause like dating sucks for everyone, right? But there are things that suck more <laughs> when you are plus size. So being able to start that community and be able to like talk with these women who are going through the same things has been really rewarding. And I'm really glad we did start it. Hell yeah, girl. Now, what are you looking for in a man? Super cheesy, but I'm literally looking for my best friend. So I just want to find someone that I can have a good time with. We have a good amount of things in common. Someone that wants to like just cook and drink wine and hang out and binge watch a show. (laughs) Someone really kind, someone funny. And I really love like intelligent, sarcastic humor. So someone that can kind of like go toe to toe with me on that. And I'm pretty outgoing. So I just need someone who wants to do fun things with me, like actually leave the house when you're allowed to. (laughs) And uh, yeah, just be my partner in crime. Let's meet the lucky guys that Nikki will be interviewing for Alex. I hope they don't disappoint. My name is Moise. I'm from Toronto. And what I do, I work for the Crisis Center as a crisis line responder. My name is Javon. I am from St. Louis, Missouri, but I currently live in Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, I work for UPS. I am a driver. My name is Darius Yates. I'm 32 years old. I'm from Euless, Texas, and I'm a teacher. Hope these guys can handle the heat. Take it away, Nikki. Are you more of a city or country person? I would say more of a city. I like to go out, see the lights, have fun. I am definitely a city person. A bit of both. I I like having the um, outing of the city, but I like having the peacefulness of the country as well. I definitely think I'm more of a city person. I really, that's just kind of where I'm I'm from. I guess where I'm more comfortable. I'm being able to easily access different places and being able to have different um, restaurants and different um, sites like that at your disposal, I think is really, is really fun for me. Looks like these guys aren't horsing around. Next question. Beer or wine? Wine. Uh, I would say probably more beer. Wine. Big wino. Beer. Big party or small gathering? Small gathering. I would say small gathering, especially in these times. (laughs) Small gathering. Looks like intimacy won't be an issue. High tech or low tech? High tech. High tech. Definitely high tech, especially being a teacher. We have to utilize technology every day, and so I'm trying to really become an expert at different different tools and different applications. Would you rather marry a virgin or someone who's had multiple sexual partners? Probably someone who's had sex with multiple partners just because I think they have a little better understanding of what they're doing. And um, whereas with a virgin, it, you would maybe have to like do some on the job training. <laughs> Darius is a teacher in the streets, not the sheets. Let's say multiple experience. You know, have fun with it. <laughs> Does that matter? Moise might want to phone a friend for that one. DIY or call an expert? Uh, DIY. Um, DIY? Call an expert, definitely. That's like kind of my kryptonite. Anything handy, like I'm just like on Google really quickly to find the best person to help me out. Exploring or being lazy on the beach? Oh, it's tough. I would say it's a little bit of both. Um, I don't want to go too, do too much walking, but I would, once you find that good spot, just camp out there for the rest of the weekend. Exploring. Exploring. Favorite dessert? Like caramel cheesecake. I love ice cream. Chocolate cake? Ice cream. Would you rather date a porn star or be a porn star? Be one. Um, I would say be a porn star. 
<laughs> Be a porn star. <laughs> Boy, does Nikki have her work cut out for her. Stick around to find out who makes it out of the friend zone and into the end zone. Welcome back to Dating in the Modern Age. Nikki's been interviewing three lucky guys in the hopes of picking one to go on a date with Alex. Whoever she picks better be as funny as this TV. Let's look at who Nikki's been interviewing. Moise is 24, but that's a crisis that he can't ignore. Javon is a whole package. Darius has a nice smile, which earns him some extra credit. Let's go, boys. Basketball. Um, definitely football. I, I played it for pretty much all my life. So, football. Football. Basketball. The bachelors really tackled that question head on. Hamburger or taco? Taco. I would say taco, but it would have to be like some real like street tacos, not like from a chain restaurant that doesn't specialize in tacos. Taco. Burger. I personally love a man who eats a good taco. Have you ever been told that you look like someone famous? <laughs> so when I have my beard shaved, I have to sometimes they say I look like Carl Winslow. No. Um, a few times I've gotten Common, the the rapper. Um, I always say I look like Turk from Scrubs, uh, Donald Faison. How would your best friend describe you? Kind, loyal, just like someone fun to be around. Really outgoing, friendly, and positive. They would definitely say I'm funny, I'm really outgoing, really um, lively, usually. I mean, a really great friend, really loyal, and really understanding. I'm energetic, fun, outgoing, um, supportive. If you could invite anyone dead or alive to dinner, who would it be? Let's go with Megan Thee Stallion. Um, I would say probably Drake. It's like my favorite artist, and I think it'll be really cool to be able to have that time with him. Dead or alive. Um, Steve Jobs for dinner. Michelle Obama, uh, Dolly Parton, and Reese Witherspoon. If you could live anywhere in the world, where would it be? Somewhere in the coastal beaches where there's just not that many people around. Just enjoy myself. Um, I would say probably like San Diego, California. California on a beach. Would you rather kiss your ex or your mortal enemy? Hmm. A mortal enemy. <laughs> that question was a test and you passed. My ex. Javon did not deliver on that answer. Mortal enemy. What are the most important things you're looking for in a person? Um, someone who is committed um, with consistency, like loyal, like we just said. Um, I would love someone that's funny though, because I'm always funny. I'm always joking. Mm -hmm. And someone that's adventurous. Empathy, loyalty, and just caring. A sense of compassion, um, a sense of understanding. Um, their ability to, to be beneficial for me and opportunities for me to be beneficial for them. This is gonna be super cheesy, but I'm definitely just looking for like my best friend. Um, someone that I can have a good time with and we like some of the same things, not all the same things. Someone to watch TV with and <laughs> cook with. Um, I think as you get older, it's just like the little things you're looking for. I'm committed to dating unemployed skateboarders. So the guys are already knocking my expectations out of the park. Uh, what are the three things you can't live without? My phone, my laptop, and probably my pick for my, my beard. My debit card, uh, let's say, my phone, and there we go. my car. I need my food, I really like, I'm a big foodie, and I love my sleep, and I think the beaches. What are you most passionate about? I think I'm just passionate about life in general. 
I like helping people. And yeah. I'm also, like I said, I'm a huge goodie. I just love food. I would say relationships. I love building relationships, maintaining them. Everyone I have a relationship with or have had a relationship with never ended on bad terms. If we have, I've corrected it, make sure it was great so we wouldn't have bad feelings for each other. Definitely mindfulness. I know that it's a really important superpower and I really try to teach my students about how to access mindfulness and how to utilize it in their daily lives. What do you consider your best attributes? Really caring. Um, definitely my like sense of understanding, my smile, of course. Um, I'm really funny. And just my ability, I think, to be able to meet people where they are on different levels. I would say smile. What's the most adventurous thing you've ever done? So I'm kind of an adrenaline junkie. Um, so I have bungee jumps, skydives, paraglided off of a mountain. I've been snowmobiling on a glacier. I just like love that stuff. So uh, probably bungee jumping though. I just went snowmobiling and that's pretty adventurous. I, when I went to Cancun, I, what is it called? The ruins, underground ruins. So I'm in a uh, do dough off of uh, like a man-made diving board into one of the little pools. Probably um, once I just took like a, a day trip to Colorado from here in Texas and then and I didn't really tell anybody. I just kind of up and went. And for me, that was really like really kind of liberating, kind of kind of helpful. Check back after the break to see which lucky guy Nikki chooses for Alex. Dating in the Modern Age, where Nikki has been interviewing three lucky bachelors to pick one to go on a blind date with her best friend Alex. That's a lot of trust. Do y'all trust your best friends that much? Who do you think Nikki's going to choose? Moise, who can talk his way in and out of anything? Javon, who embraces life to the fullest? Or will Darius be the apple of Alex's eye? What is your best pickup line? Right now, it's kind of, if COVID doesn't take you out, can I? That response made me <laughs> sicker than the virus. <laughs> I really don't use pickup lines. Uh, I'm more so just talking, introducing myself and going from there. I use, I've never used a pickup line. Okay. What's your dream job? My dream job is to be an actor. Well, I wasn't braced for that. Being like an instructional specialist for, um, a really big district or like a technology specialist for a district where I can like make some really good money but can be out of the classroom but still um, still able to help students. Dentist. We have our podcast. I would love to be able to do that full time along with um, some content creation and marketing. Would you rather give up masturbating for a whole year or sex for two months? masturbating for a whole year. A man giving up masturbating for a whole year? Let's hope Moise is a man of his word. Sex for two months? Masturbating. No, no. Sex for two months. <laughs> what makes you laugh? Everything. Literally everything makes me laugh, I feel like. The office. Really good impressions, like spot on. It just always just, just kills me. What's a movie that made you cry? Probably Get Out. Literally any Pixar movie makes me sob. See, I'm emotional. So I have a couple movies that made me cry. Um, anything like what a sad party and I'm probably crying. <laughs> what have we played on your music playlist right now? Drake. I'm Drake. A lot of, a lot of Drake. R&B, old school. I, I listen to a lot of old school R&B. I am a country girl. Like that is basically all I ever uh, listen to. Would you rather have sex in a dressing room or a shower? Mm, dressing room. Shower. Probably a dressing room, it's a little bit, little bit more space. What's something you notice about someone when you first meet them? 
Their eyes, usually, especially. What's the most adventurous thing you've done in your life? Moved to a city by myself. I didn't know anyone when I came to Atlanta. What's your favorite band? I'm going back. I love Nickelback. <laughs> really? Yes. Dog year missionary. Missionary? Missionary. Doggy, definitely. Would you rather have sex when you're drunk or when you're stoned? Drunk. Stone, definitely. So I've heard. So you've heard. <laughs> Stone. What's your favorite wine? I love bubbles, so champagne. Pinot Grigio? Um, I like champagne. A uh, Riesling. Stay tuned to see who Nikki chooses for Alex. I personally would never let my best friend choose a man for me because she always dates felons. <laughs> Back to Dating in the Modern Age, where Nikki has been interviewing three yummy kings to pick one to go on a date with her best friend, Alex. Time to find out who she chose. So which bachelor is it? Will it be Moise, who, like pretty Ricky, spends his days on the hotline? Javon really is the whole package delivered right to your doorstep. But I don't know, I could really see Darius making you his teacher's pet. Last round of questions before Nikki makes up her mind. Where are you from originally? Originally, I'm from Fort Worth, Texas. Middle East. St. Louis, Missouri. Where was the best vacation you've ever taken? Bermuda. South Padre, Texas. Well, I would say that time when I went to Colorado um, by myself, that was probably the best. Would you rather join the Mile High Club or have a threesome? A threesome, definitely. Oh, I've always wanted to be in a mile high club. Threesomes in the past. <laughs> Threesome. While walking, are you listening to music or podcasts? Podcasts usually. Music. Music. Who do you turn to when you're sad? Usually myself. Music. A couple close friends. What are three words that describe you? I think the three most important words are monogamous employed and handsome so i'm uh, friendly like i said um i'm really chill and just i like to have a good time describe me or uh, funny determined and leader all right nikki what are your thoughts on moise I love that he's a foodie. Alex loves food and like trying new restaurants and things like that. And he seemed really chill and like a nice person. Okay, T, what about Darius? So I thought he was really cute. Definitely Alex's type. I thought he was a little shy, but he seemed really sweet. So I think once you break him out of his shell, he could be fun to be around. But he needs to learn how to like wine. I see that. And what about Javon? Javon seemed just like a really good, nice person. He had a really good smile, and I think Alex would like that. The moment we've all been waiting for. The winner is... I think Darius, he's age appropriate, he's cute, um, and he's. I think he'll balance her out a bit. And I wanna see if she can like pull him out of the shell. What are the most important things you're looking for in a partner? Um, definitely their, their sense of compassion. Um, their sense of understanding, um, their ability to, to be beneficial for me and opportunities for me to be beneficial for them. All right, y'all, stay tuned for next week where we'll see Alex go on a date with Darius and Nikki go on a date with Adam A. And I'm going to go confront my friends about their bad taste in men. See ya! <laughs>